Hey everyone, um, this is ALG here, and I figured I'd do something a little different. Um, <laughs> besides my other Let's Plays, I was inspired by Nintendo Capri Sun's video on how to make Let's Plays uh, using Vista. So I figured, well, since I'm the only gamer in the world that uses Macintosh, um, I will show everyone how to run and record uh, an emulated Let's Play. So we'll just minimize this. Actually, we will put that back up because I want to show you something. This is I show you. Basically, it's an application that runs like Fraps or Camtasia Studio. Here you can uh, select your audio levels, your audio sources, and um, pretty much, uh, you know, the frame rate, you know, it's pretty much like the same thing. And the sweet thing about it is that you can automatically compress it for YouTube, and you can compress it using H.264 which is uh, actually a pretty good uh, compressor. <clears throat> and basically what you can do is you can uh, select it to where it follows your mouse and pretty much what it'll do, it'll like, create a halo effect around your mouse and it'll, whenever you um, highlight your mouse over it, it'll pretty much like zoom in on whatever you're pointing at. But you don't want that, so what you want to do is usually you press edit recording area and you drag it to where it'll cover a certain part over your screen. Then you just minimize that. And now you need to get your emulators. So pretty much I got three emulators. SNES 9X, 64, which is pretty much like uh, uh, Project 64 for Macintosh. It's actually really good, but you gotta subscribe to it, and it's like, what the hell? Why would I wanna subscribe to an emulator to play illegal ROMs? But technically they're not illegal because they're abandoned wear, but, you know, it's up in question. And have Visual Boy Advance, which is crap, I haven't got that to work anyway. But SNES 9X is the one that, you know, it doesn't have watermarks and it doesn't have, uh... Yep. So, let that run or jump around for a little bit. Then, I don't know, we'll, we'll do Super Mario All-Stars. There we go. Oops. Now I'll just drag it down here. Press Enter. And there you go. And this should be recording the audio. Hold on, let me get my controller out real quick. I believe I have it all configured. Let me get the mouse out of the way. Uh, I don't have anything, but <clears throat> we will run it anyway. Whatever. Alright. Super Mario Brothers, here we go. Alright. What? There's no floor! Ah. Oh, okay. And that is pretty much how you run your ROMs. Now, if you want to configure new controllers, you would go here down here, configure controllers, and just pretty much test everything out. Everything looks good. Uh, make sure you run the emulation, and there you go. And it's actually a very good emulator. You can tell that there's no lag here. Actually, it's running better than it normally is. Now, you can run a full screen mode, but the problem is... Uh, there's really no point if you're recording, because you can just uh, mess around with the uh, zoom later. Alright. What? There's no flaw! Yeah! I should create a let's fail of this, even though I'm doing pretty good. Alright, enough of that. And... Ugh. Yeah, you want to pause the emulation, 
and then quit SNES 9X. And yeah, get that back in there. And yeah, there you go. I also have, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I also have Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and stuff like that. Now, in terms of net play, uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There's a net play function on SNES 9X, but you need Hamachi and stuff, and I don't really know how to do that yet. But just to get a simple emulated Let's Play going, that's pretty much what you need to do. Is uh, just choose one of these. If you want to subscribe to 64 and go ahead. 64 is actually a very good emulator. I'll run that right now. Even though that's like a crappy uh, watermark, see? They want you to register. And I don't think that's... Alright, we'll run Super Smash. Alright, there we go. Now, the thing with uh, Super Smash Brothers for uh, 64 is that the controllers you configure, it doesn't work with USB for some reason. I don't know, I haven't figured that out. You can see the little watermark right here. But as you can tell, this is an extremely good emulator. Um, there's a little bit of sound distortion, a little bit of lag, but it's actually very good. Training mode. And, uh, it's probably not as good as Project 64, but whatever. But it's actually, you know, you can tell that <laughs> at least the visuals are really good. So, uh, yeah, not as good as the authentic, though. Yes, we will pause. We will quit. And that is how you do it. Hmm, how did that get there? Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of weird, but... We will just put it down here. Okay. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to Mac. I've been on uh, XP for so long. Now, <clears throat> once you're all done with that, pretty much what will happen, you gotta go back to I show you, and then you gotta press finish. I'm not gonna do that now, because obviously I'm recording this as a video. But pretty much what you wanna do is, um, once you get that all taken care of, it'll automatically turn into a QuickTime movie. You can just upload that right on YouTube, and you'll be all set, because you already configured the YouTube and you've already configured the uh, capture size. And like I said before, it'll give you an option to crop so it can fit the exact frame of the emulator you're running. So this way it'll just capture the emulator and not the entire desktop plus the emulator on that little screen. So that's pretty much how you do it. And uh, yeah, and YouTube will take care of the rest. But of course, I don't uh, do it this way. I use um, a capture device and pretty much what I do it's just uploaded it here into iMovie. Now, this is actually one of my Suikoden 2 projects. Um, pretty much what you do, you import your uh, media into the events. And then once you do the events, you can pretty much edit him from there, but it's pointless until you do it as an official project. Here, you can edit all of the transitions you want, all the titles you want, all of the themes you want. Like, you can do that. You can do pretty much anything you want with text. And uh, you can add music right here. Uh, pictures. Titles. And from there you can just press uh, the, the space bar, edit like that. Uh, if you want to edit like a certain specific thing, you can either go to transition adjustments and type it in. Or pretty much what you can do is type in Precision Editor. And of course it's laggy because, you know. And all you gotta do is just edit it like this. Sort of like a Windows Movie Maker type of thing. And then, if you're all done with that, 
Just press done. And it should be good. Now, <clears throat> if you're going to do a thing out of iMovie, you got to refinalize it for YouTube and then compress it manually. That's the thing about it. So, to each his own, I guess. And uh, whatever method works best for you, it'll just work. All right, this is a loyal gamer signing off of uh, this little tutorial here. And for all of you Mac users who are considering becoming Let's Players, I hope this works.